Hey guys, welcome to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and this is another episode of Hester's House Updates. And today is a good one as I can finally show you what my kitchen looks like. If you follow this channel, you've seen some of the steps I've done in the kitchen, but just to remind ourselves, this is what the kitchen looked like when we moved into the property. So here you have the kitchen in all its bland glory with the white cabinets, a dark countertop and a really ugly tiled floor. In the first tutorial you saw me put a new floor down, it's a B&Q vinyl click floor and the walls got a count of walls per paint. In video 2 I paint the countertops with Gianni granite paint. In video 3 you saw me put an amazing kitchen wallpaper on instead of my backsplash. And last week you saw me make these leather door handles. And this is what it looks like now. I finally finished my cabinets that cover it plywood and let me show you how I've done that. I'm using some lovely plywood from B&Q and the doors are made out of 19mm plywood and the outside of the cupboards it's clad with a thinner plywood uh, around 9mm. So I've taken a door of its hinges and now we're gonna cut a new door out of the plywood to exactly the same size as the old door. Put your door on the plywood and with a pencil trace around your door. While wearing your eye and ear protectors cut the ply to size. I'm using a mini handheld circular saw which has got really nice straight lines. Then you sand the edges and you measure where your new hole for the hinge needs to be. You're gonna cut the hole with a hinge cutter. Hang the door back in its old hinges and screw in place. You might have to fiddle around with the hinges a little bit to make sure your door fits perfectly. The sides of the cupboards are covered with thinner plywood. You're simply gonna cut it to size and glue it on. With your plywood cut to size, just apply some strong glue. I like using no more nails as it's a really strong hold. And with a clamp, just keep it in place until the glue is dry. By putting a little bit of iron on veneer on the edges of the shelves, I gave the inside of the cabinet a whole new look as well. I hope you love the kitchen transformation as much as I do because I absolutely adore my kitchen now. I love the plywood on the cabinets, I love the painted countertop, the new floor, the amazing colourful backsplash. This all makes for a very happy and unique kitchen. And the best thing is, it's done on a budget, so it doesn't cost you a lot of money either. That's what we like here on Handmade Home. Style, but not for a lot of money. I create extra storage by putting two wooden crates on top of the fridge for my cookbooks and for cereal. And by cladding the back and the sides of the cabinets with a bit of ply, it looks like I have an extra shelf on top of my cabinets. This is where I keep all my glass containers. The small gap between my fridge and the cabinet is now used to store trays and to hold some wine bottles. I also built some wall shelves and as you can see, a clever little dowel holds my kitchen roll. The new tap also gives the old sink a whole new look. The windowsill makes a great little shelf for my coffee and tea. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Handmade Home brings you a new video every Thursday.